So it's been a couple of days now and I've been able to process the whole Caleb Love transferring from North Carolina and I've watched countless videos about it while I've been recovering from being sick and I've seen many tweets and many other social media posts from the UNC community and I have seen rather mixed emotions about this. Many people are happy that Caleb Love is gone now because they're saying that Caleb was the problem for North Carolina this season. And I see many that are sad because folks, whether you realize it or not, he absolutely put Coach K to sleep last year in the Final Four. And he really was a big factor to why North Carolina did so well in the NCAA tournament. And I'll never badmouth Caleb Love as an individual as I met him at the beginning of this year and he was nothing but nice. We talked for a few minutes. And he told me just how excited he was to run it back this season with his team. And while things didn't exactly go as planned for this team, this team actually was pretty bad, especially for Carolina standards. I mean, they missed the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2010. And a lot of eyes were on Caleb Love. And when the man struggled, which he certainly had his own struggles, a lot of the blame was on him. And I think there were many times this season that Caleb Love just wanted to turn back into the man and be that player he was last year during the NCAA tournament. But instead, he just looked like a shot-chucking ball hog that only cared about points per game, which they did go up slightly from 15.9 points per game as a sophomore to 16.7 as a junior. But his efficiency took a huge hit, particularly from the three-point line and the free-throw line. His three-point percentage was just 29.9%, and his free-throw just 76.5%, and only averaging 2.8 assists a game. In my personal opinion, I believe that if you are a guard, especially if you dribble as much as Caleb Love does, you really should be looking for more assists. And honestly, I think Caleb Love's biggest problem at this point is he doesn't realize just how good he is at attacking the basket. I think he currently thinks that he's just a sharpshooter, and he's really not. I mean, he's an okay three-point shooter, don't get me wrong. I mean, when he's efficient, he's actually a pretty good shooter, but he's a really, he's a really good rim attacker, and I don't think he realizes that. And the reason he was able to hit so many three-point shots is because he was able to attack the basket, and teams were so afraid of him getting to the basket getting a good shot down low or being able to dump it off to Armando Baycott and so then they would give him that space to take the open three and he would make it he didn't really do that this season there was a lot of dribble step back three pointers and there was not much I mean when he would drive to the basket he would make shots or he would get an assist but he didn't do that enough this year so I think wherever he goes, that, that should be his number one priority is, okay, I'm a rim, I, I can really attack the basket, I'm going to do that, and other things will open up for me. That is what should be his number one priority if he wants to be an NBA prospect, which he went from being a first-round pick uh, at the beginning, at the end of last year, to basically he won't get drafted at this point. He's going to have to have a really good senior year to be considered for a first-round pick. But I don't think it's impossible. So, all in all, this year was, was not a good year for Caleb Love. Uh, it was not a good year for North Carolina. And there were so many things that Caleb Love got criticized for. Of course, there was that rumor of him doing the deed with RJ Davis's girlfriend, UNC women's basketball star Deja Kelly. Now, whether those rumors are true or not, we don't know. But after the season, Caleb Love took down all things related to North Carolina and changed his profile picture to a simple black screen with the white lettering saying, you can't break me and now it's changed again but that's what it was for quite a while and now on monday caleb love put out this statement saying my time at unc has been rewarding and has inspired me to grow on and off the court i'm extremely thankful to god for this journey i'd like to give a special thank you to coach roy williams for opening up the door of an opportunity by recruiting me to play at unc and to live out my dream of playing for this program Thanks to coach Hubert Davis and the coaching staff for allowing me to play under their leadership the last two years and constantly challenging me. To my teammates, I will always cherish the bonds we created over the years and the memories that will last a lifetime. I've taken some time with my family to reevaluate what's best for me to continue to grow as a player, and I've decided to enter the transfer portal to continue my journey. Thank you, UNC family and community, for embracing a kid from St. Louis. I will love you all forever. See love, number two. In statement so yeah Caleb Love is gone and I think part of it is due to the backlash he received also I believe that North Carolina straight up became the wrong place for Caleb Love after this year he realized that he's not going to grow anymore at North Carolina he has hit his peak it is over 
And honestly, I truly believe that Hubert Davis is the wrong coach for Caleb Love. So where could Caleb Love go? Well, I believe that he will be on the top of a lot of teams' lists when it comes to the transfer portal. I believe like a team like Kansas State would take him. I believe that uh, Missouri or maybe even possibly a Vanderbilt, especially with the Carolina connection with Jerry Stackhouse, would take Caleb Love. Regardless of that, I hope the best for Caleb Love, and I hope he realizes that he is forever a Tar Heel. But anyways, y'all, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please show it by hitting the like button and subscribing for more content just like this. It helps me out a ton with analytics, and it absolutely makes my day. Comment down below where you want to see Caleb Love next season. Until next time, I want you to have an awesome day, and I'll see y'all later.